The Truth About Singer Mary J. Blige, Mary Jane Blige, born January 11, 1971, is an American singer, songwriter, rapper, model, record producer and actress. Starting her career as a backing singer on Uptown Records in 1989, Blige released her first album, What's the 411, in 1992. She has released 13 studio albums, eight of which have been certified multi-platinum. Blige is known as the Queen of Hip-Hop Soul, and has won nine Grammy Awards from her 31 nominations. My Life is among Rowling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, and Time's All-Time 100 Albums. She received a Legends Award at the World Music Awards in 2006, and the Voice of Music Award from Performance Rights Organization ASCAP in 2007. As of 2013, Blige has sold 75 million records worldwide. Billboard ranked Blige as the most successful female R&B hip-hop artist of the past 25 years. In 2017, Billboard magazine also lists her 2006 song Be Without You as the most successful R&B hip-hop song of all time, as it spent an unparalleled 15 weeks atop the Hot R&B Hip-Hop Songs chart and over 75 weeks on the chart. In 2011, VH1 ranked Blige as the 80th greatest artist of all time. Moreover, she is ranked number 100 on a list of 100 greatest singers of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. In 2012, VH1 ranked Blige at number 9 in the 100 greatest women in music. Blige starred in the 2009 Tyler Perry box office hit I Can Do Bad All By Myself and appeared in the film Rock of Ages, 2012. She received a Golden Globe Award nomination for her musical contribution to the film The Help. In 2017, she starred in the period drama film Mudbound, directed by Dee Rees. In partnership with the Home Shopping Network, HSN, and Carol's Daughter, Blige released her My Life perfume. The perfume broke HSN records by selling 65,000 bottles during its premiere. The scent went on to win two Fifi Awards including the Fragrance Sales Breakthrough Award, Life and Career, 1971-91, Early Life and Career Beginnings. Blige was born on January 11, 1971, in the Bronx, New York. She is the second of four children born to Mother Cora, a nurse, and second to Father Thomas Blige, a jazz musician. The family subsisted on her mother's earnings as a nurse after her father left the family in the mid-1970s the former an alcoholic and the latter a Vietnam War veteran who suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Blige spent her early years in Richmond Hill, Georgia, where she sang in a Pentecostal church. Blige later moved to Schlabum Houses in Yonkers, New York, immediately north of New York City, where she lived with her mother and older sister. Blige dropped out of high school in her junior year, pursuing a musical career. Blige spent a short period of time in a Yonkers band named Pride with band drummer Eddie Daprell. In early 1988, she recorded an impromptu cover of Anita Baker's Caught Up in the Rapture at a recording booth in the Galleria Mall in White Plains, New York. Her mother's boyfriend at the time later played the cassette for Jeff Red, a recording artist and A&R runner for Uptown Records. Red sent it to the president and CEO of the label, Andre Harrell. Harrell met with Blige and in 1989 she was signed to the label as a backing vocalist for artists such as Father MC, becoming the company's youngest and first female artist. 1992-96, What's the 411? In my life, after being signed to Uptown Records, Blige began working with record producer Puff Daddy he became the executive producer and produced a majority of the album. The title, What's the 411? derived from Blige's past occupation as a 4-1-1 operator. It was also an indication by Blige of being the real deal. What's the 411 inches nevertheless established Blige as a dynamic storyteller whose performances of love narrative drew upon both her musical influences and her lived experiences as a hip-hop generation woman. The music was described as revelatory on a frequent basis Blige was noted for having a tough girl persona and streetwise lyrics. On July 28, 1992, Uptown MCA Records released What's the 411? To positive reviews from critics. What's the 411? 
peaked at number 6 on the Billboard 200 and topped the top R&B hip-hop albums chart. It also peaked at number 53 on the UK albums chart. It was certified three times platinum by the RIAA. According to Entertainment Weekly's Dave DiMartino, with the record's commercial success and Blige's powerful, soulful voice and hip-hop attitude, she's solidly connected with an audience that has never seen a woman do new jack swing but loves it just the same. According to Dave McLear, Blige became the most successful new female R&B artist of 1992 in the United States. What's the 411? Earned her two Soul Train Music Awards in 1993, Best New R&B Artist and Best R&B Album, Female. It was also voted the year's 30th Best Album in the Paz and Jop, an annual poll of American critics nationwide, published by The Village Voice. By August 2010, the album had sold 3,318,000 copies in the U.S. What's the 411? has since been viewed by critics as one of the 1990s most important records. Blige's combination of vocals over a hip-hop beat proved influential in contemporary R&B. With the album, she was dubbed the reigning queen of hip-hop soul. The album's success spun off What's the 411? Remix, a remix album released in December that was used to extend the life of the What's the 411? Singles on the radio into 1994, as Blige recorded her follow-up album. With combined sales of over 5 million albums and singles from her debut album, Blige was the best-selling female artist on the Uptown label. Following the success of her debut album and a remixed version in 1993, Blige went into the recording studio in the winter of 1993 to record her second album, My Life. The album was a breakthrough for Blige, who at this point was in a clinical depression battling both drugs and alcohol as well as being in an abusive relationship with KCI Haley, which was reported in several tabloids. On November 29, 1994, Uptown Records MCA Records released Blige's second album, My Life, to positive reviews. The album debuted at number two on the U.S. Billboard 200 and number one of the top R&B hip-hop albums chart for selling 481,000 copies in its first week and remaining atop the top R&B hip-hop albums chart for an unprecedented eight weeks. It ultimately spent 46 weeks on the Billboard 200 and 84 weeks on the R&B hip-hop albums chart. In 2002, my Life was ranked number 57 on Blender's list of the 100 Greatest American Albums of All Time. The following year, Rolling Stone placed it at number 279 on their 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, and in 2006, the record was included in Time's 100 Greatest Albums of All Time list. Blige involved herself in several outside projects, recording a cover of Aretha Franklin's, You Make Me Feel Like a natural woman for the soundtrack to the FOX series New York Undercover, and Every Day It Rains, co-written by R&B singer Faith Evans, for the soundtrack to the hip-hop documentary, The Show. Later in the year, she recorded the baby phase penned and produced Not Gun Cry, for the soundtrack to the motion picture Waiting to Exhale. The platinum-selling single rose to number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and number one on the Hot R&B Hip-Hop Songs in early 1996. Blige gained her first two Grammy nominations, and won the Best Rap Performance by a Duo or Group for her collaboration with Method Man. 1997-2000, Share My World and Mary, on April 22, 1997, MCA Records, parent company to Uptown Records, which was in the process of being dismantled, released Blige's third album, Share My World. By then, she and Combs had dissolved their working relationship. In his place were the Trackmasters, who executive produced the project along with Steve Stout. Sharing production duties were producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, R. Kelly, Babyface and Rodney Jerkins. The album was made at a time when Blige was trying to get her life together, by trying to overcome drugs and alcohol, as well as the ending of her relationship with Haley. After an encounter with a person who threatened her life the previous year, she tried to quit the unhealthy lifestyle and make more upbeat, happier music. As a result, songs such as Love Is All We Need and Share My World were made. Share My World debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 and spawned five hit singles, Love Is All We Need, featuring Nez, I Can Love You, 
featuring Lil' Kim, Everything, Missing You, UK Only, and Seven Days, featuring George Benson. The album became Blige's most commercially successful, selling 3 million copies in the US. In February 1997, Blige performed her hit at the time, Not Gun Cry, at the 1997 Grammy Awards, which gained her a third Grammy Award nomination, her first for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, as Blige was recording the follow-up to My Life. In early 1998, Blige won an American Music Award for Favorite Soul R&B Album. That summer, she embarked on the Share My World Tour, which resulted in a gold-certified live album release later that year, simply titled The Tour. The album spun one single, Misty Blue. On August 17, 1999, Blige's fourth album, titled Mary, was released. It marked a departure from her more familiar hip-hop-oriented sound. This set featured a more earthy, whimsical, and adult contemporary tinged collection of songs, reminiscent of 1970s to early 1980s soul. She also appeared on In Concert, a benefit for the Crossroad Center at Antigua with Eric Clapton in 1999. On December 14, 1999, the album was re-released as a double-disc set. The second disc was enhanced with the music videos for the singles All That I Can Say and Deep Inside and included two bonus tracks, Sincerity, featuring Nez, Andy Hogan and DMX, and Confrontation, a collaboration with hip-hop duo Funkmaster Flex and Big Cap originally from their 1999 album The Tunnel. The Mary album was critically praised becoming her most nominated release to date, and was certified double platinum, selling over 2 million in sales. It was not as commercially successful as Blige's prior releases, though all of the singles, All That I Can Say, Deep Inside, Your Child, and Give Me You performed considerably on radio. In the meantime, MCA used the album to expand Blige's demographic into the nightclub market, as club-friendly dance remixes of the Mary singles were released. The club remix of Your Child peaked at number one on the Billboard's Hot Dance Club Play chart in October 2000. In 2001, a Japan-only compilation, Ballads, was released. The album featured covers of Stevie Wonder's Overjoyed, and previous recordings of Aretha Franklin's You Make Me Feel Like, A Natural Woman and Dorothy Moore's Misty Blue. In 1999, George Michael and Mary J. Blige covered the song as written by Stevie Wonder, and worldwide outside of the United States, it was the second single from George Michael's greatest hits album Ladies and Gentlemen, The Best of George Michael. It became a top 10 UK pop hit, reaching number 4 on the chart. It was not released on the US version of the Greatest Hits Collection or as a single in the US Michael cited Blige's record company president for pulling the track in America after Michael's arrest for committing a lewd act. 2001-04 no More Drama and Love and Life Blige in Hamburg, Germany 2000, on August 28, 2001, MCA released Blige's fifth studio album, No More Drama. The album's first single, Family Affair, produced by Dr. Dre, became her first number one single on the Billboard Hot 100, where it remained for six consecutive weeks. It was followed by two further hit singles, the European-only single Dance For Me featuring Common with samples from the beds Too Big Without You by The Police, and the Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis produced title track, originally recorded for the Mary album, which sampled Nadia's theme, the piano-driven theme song to the daytime drama The Young and the Restless. Though the album sold nearly two million copies in the US, MCA was underwhelmed by its sales, and subsequently repackaged and re-released the album on January 29, 2002. The No More Drama re-release featured a new album cover, deleted three of the songs from the original track listing, while adding two brand new songs, one of which was the fourth single and top 20 Hot 100 hit Rainy Days, featuring Yar Rule, plus two remixes. One of the title track, serviced by Puff Daddy and the single version of Dance For Me featuring Common. The album sold another million plus units, 3.2 million in total in the US and 7 million worldwide. Blige won a Grammy for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance for the song He Think I Don't Know. In April 2002, Blige performed with Shakira with the song Love is a Battlefield on VH1 Divas show Live in Las Vegas, 
She also performed No More Drama and Rainy Days as a duet with the returning Whitney Houston. On July 22, 2002, MCA released Dance For Me, a collection of club remixes of some of her past top hits including the Junior Vasquez remix of Your Child, and the Thunderpuss mix of No More Drama. This album was released in a limited edition double pack 12 inches vinyl for DJ friendly play in nightclubs. On August 26, 2003, Blige's sixth album Love and Life was released on Geffen Records, which had absorbed MCA Records. Blige heavily collaborated with her one-time producer Sean Combs for this set. Due to the history between them on What's the 411? In My Life, which is generally regarded as their best work, and Blige having just come off of a successful fifth album, expectations were high for the reunion effort. Despite the album debuting at number one on the Billboard 200 and becoming Blige's fourth consecutive UK Top 10 album, Love and Life's lead-off single, the Diddy produced Love at First Sight, which featured Method Man, barely cracked the Top 10 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop songs, while altogether missing the Top 20 on the Hot 100, although peaking inside the UK Top 20. The following singles, ooh, Not Today featuring Eve. Whenever I Say Your Name featuring Sting on the international re-release, and It's a Rap fared worse. Although the album was certified platinum, it became Belange's lowest selling to date. Critics and fans alike largely panned the disc, citing a lack of consistency and noticeable ploys to recapture the early Blige Combs glory. Blige and Combs reportedly struggled and clashed during the making of this album, and again parted ways upon the completion of it. The album became Belange's first album in six years to debut at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 285,298 copies in first week. 40. Love and Life received mixed reviews from music critics. All Music gave it four stars and said the album beamed with joy and Rolling Stone gave it three stars, saying you may not always love Belange's music, but you will feel her. The album was eventually certified platinum by the RIAA. To date the album has sold over 1 million copies in the US and over 2 million copies worldwide. The album was nominated for the Best Contemporary R&B Album at the 46th Grammy Awards. 2005-06, The Breakthrough and Reflections, a retrospective, Geffen Records released Blige's seventh studio album, The Breakthrough on December 20, 2005. For the album, Blige collaborated with J.U.S.T.I.C.E. League, Rodney Jerkins, Will I Am, Brian Michael Cox, Ninth Wonder, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Raphael Sidek, Cool and Dree, and Dree and Vidal. The cover art was photographed by Marcus Klinko and Indrani. It debuted at number one on both the Billboard 200 and Top R&B Hip Hop Albums charts. Selling 727,000 copies in its first week, it became the biggest first week sales for an R&B solo female artist in SoundScan history, the fifth largest first week sales for a female artist, and the fourth largest debut of 2005. Since its release, the breakthrough has sold over 3 million copies in the US and over 7 million copies worldwide, becoming one of the five best-selling albums of 2006. The lead-off single, Be Without You, peaked at number 3 on the Billboard Hot 100, while peaking at number 1 on the R&B chart for a record-setting 15 consecutive weeks. It remained on the chart for over 16 months. Be Without You found success in the UK, peaking in the lower end of the top 40, it became Belange's longest charting single on the UK singles chart. It is her second longest charting single to date. The album produced three more singles including two more top five R&B hits in F Crime, which features Blige's alter ego Brooklyn, as whom she appeared on the remix to Bust the Rhymes' Touch It in 2006. And Take Me As I Am, which samples Lani Liston Smith's A Garden Apiece. Blige's duet with U2 on the cover of their 1992 hit, One Gave Blige her biggest hit to date in the UK peaking at number 2 on the UK singles chart eventually being certified one of the 40 highest selling singles of 2006. It was her longest charting UK single. The success of the breakthrough won Blige 9 Billboard Music Awards, 2 American Music Awards, 2 Ben Awards, 2 NAACP Image Awards, and a Soul Train Award.
She received eight Grammy Award nominations at the 2007 Grammy Awards, the most of any artist that year. Be Without You was nominated for both Record of the Year and Song of the Year. Blige won three, Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, Best R&B Song, both for Be Without You, and Best R&B Album for The Breakthrough. Blige completed a season sweep of the big three major music awards, having won two American Music Awards in November 2006 and nine Billboard Music Awards in December 2006. In December 2006, a compilation called Reflections, a retrospective, was released. It contained many of Blige's greatest hits and four new songs, including the worldwide lead single We Ride, I See the Future. In the UK, however, MJB Die MVP, which appeared in a different, shorter form on The Breakthrough, was released as the lead single from the collection. The album peaked at number 9 in the US, selling over 170,000 copies in its first week, while reaching number 40 in the UK. It has sold more than 1.6 million copies. In 2006, Blige recorded a duet with rapper Ludacris, Runaway Love, which is the third single on his fifth album, Release Therapy. It reached the top five on the Billboard Hot 100 and the R&B chart. Blige was featured with Aretha Franklin in the Harlem Boys Choir on the soundtrack to the 2006 motion picture Bobby, on the lead track Never Gonna Break My Faith written by Brian Adams. The song was nominated for a Golden Globe and won the Grammy Award for Best Gospel Performance at the 50th Annual Grammy Awards. 2007-08, Growing Pains Blige performing in July 2007 Blige's eighth studio album, Growing Pains, was released on December 18, 2007, debuting at number 2 on the Billboard 200 and at number 1 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart. It sold 629,000 copies in its first week, marking the third time since Nielsen SoundScan began collecting data in 1991 that two albums sold more than 600,000 copies in a week in the United States. In its second week, the album climbed to number one, making it Blige's fourth number one album. The lead single, Just Fine, peaked at number 22 on the Billboard Hot 100 and at number three on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. Just Fine was nominated for the Grammy Award for Best Female R&B Vocal Performance, and Blige won Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals for the Chaka Khan duet Disrespectful, featured on Khan's album Funk This, which Blige wrote. Growing Pains was not released in the UK until February 2008, where it became Blige's fifth top ten and third highest charting album. The Breakthrough and Reflections, a retrospective, were released in the Christmas rush and therefore settled for lower peaks, although both selling more than her top five album Mary. Citation needed just fine return Blige to the UK singles chart top 20 after her previous two singles failed to chart highly. Subsequent singles from Growing Pains include Work That, which accompanied Blige in an iTunes commercial, and Stay Down. Blige was featured on 50 Cent's 2007 album, Curtis, in the song All of Me. In March 2008, she toured with Jay-Z in the Heart of the City tour. They released a song called You're Welcome. This version is strictly for demonstration purposes only. Please contact our sales support team in order to obtain a valid license for commercial use. In the same period, Cable Network Bet aired a special on Blige entitled The Evolution of Mary J. Blige, which showcased her career. Celebrities such as Method Man and Ashanti gave their opinions about Blige and her music. Blige is featured on singles by Big Boy and Music Soul Child. Growing Pains was nominated for and won the Grammy Award for Best Contemporary R&B Album at the 51st Grammy Awards held on February 8, 2009, earning Blige her 27th Grammy nomination in a mere decade. Blige went on the Growing Pains European Tour, her first tour there in two years. A tour of Australia and New Zealand was scheduled for June but was postponed due to weariness from an overwhelming tour schedule and then eventually cancelled entirely. On August 7, 2008, it was revealed Blige faced a two million US dollars federal suit claiming Nephew wrote the music for the song Work That, but was owned by Dream Family Entertainment. The filing claimed that Dream Family never gave rights to use the song to Blige, Feimster or Geffen Records. 
rights to the lyrics of the song used in an iPod commercial are not in question. 2009-10, Stronger with each tear, Blige returned to performing in January 2009 by performing the song Lean on Me at the presidential inauguration committees, We Are One, the Obama inaugural celebration at the Lincoln Memorial. Blige also performed her hit 2007 single, Just Fine, with a new intro at the Neighborhood Inaugural Ball after Barack Obama was sworn in on January 20, 2009. Blige appeared as a marquee performer on the annual Christmas in Washington television special. Blige performing at Bumbershoot in September 2010. Blige's ninth studio album, Stronger With Each Tear, was released on December 21, 2009 debuting at number 2 on the Billboard 200 and at number 1 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart, selling 332,000 units in its first week of release. It became her fifth album not to take the top spot in the United States. The lead single, The One, which features Canadian rapper Drake, was released for airplay in June 2009, and was officially and digitally released in July 2009, peaking at number 63 on the Hot 100. Blige recorded Stronger, as the lead single from the soundtrack to the basketball documentary More Than a Game in August 2009. The second single from Stronger with Each Tear, I Am, was released in December 2009 and reached number 55 on the Hot 100. The third international single from the album, Each Tear, was remixed with different featured artists from different countries, then being released in February 2010. The single failed to chart anywhere except in the UK where it reached number 183 and in Italy where it reached number 1. The album's third US single, We Got Hood Love featuring Trey Songz, was released in March 2010 and reached number 25 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Singles chart though it failed to reach the Hot 100. One of Blige's representatives reported to Us Weekly magazine that a tour in support of Stronger with each tier will begin in the fall of 2010. 55. On March 2010, Blige released Stronger with each tier in the United Kingdom, as well as in the European markets. The album performed modestly in the United Kingdom, debuting at number 33 on the UK Albums Chart and at number 4 on the UK R&B Chart. It reached the top 100 in other countries. Blige was honored at the 2009 Bet Honors Ceremony and was paid tribute by Anita Baker and Monica. On November 4, 2009, Blige sang the Star Spangled Banner at Yankees Stadium before the New York Yankees and Philadelphia Phillies played the last game, Game 6, of the World Series. Blige performed two songs from her ninth album as well as her previous hits, No More Drama and Be Without You along with the song Color, which was featured on the Precious soundtrack. Blige appeared as a guest judge on the ninth season of American Idol on January 13, 2010. On January 23, 2010, Blige released the track Hard Times Come Again No More with The Roots as well as performing it at the Hope for Haiti Now Telethon. At the 2010 Grammy Awards, Blige and Andrea Bocelli performed Bridge Over Troubled Water. Blige also performed on Bits SOS Help for Haiti, singing Gonna Make It with Jasmine Sullivan and One. Blige also took part in February 2010 as We Are the World 25 for Haiti singing the solo originally sung by Tina Turner in the original 1985 We Are the World version. At the 41st Annual ACP Image Awards Blige won Outstanding Female Artist and Outstanding Album for Stronger with Each Tear. On November 18, 2010, Billboard revealed Mary J. Blige as the most successful female R&B hip-hop artist on the top 50 R&B hip-hop artists of the past 25 years list. Mary came in at number 2 overall. 2011-13, My Life 2. The Journey Continues, Act 1, and A Merry Christmas. Blige on stage at the Ragamuffin Festival in Sydney, Australia in January 2011. In January 2011, Hot 97 premiered Blige's teaser track Someone to Love Me, Naked, featuring vocals by Lil Wayne. In July 2011, Blige released the song The Living Proof as the lead single to the soundtrack of the film The Help. On July 24, VH1 premiered their third behind the music that profiled her personal and career life. In August 2011, Blige released her first single off the album, 25-8. Blige's tenth studio album, My Life 2. The Journey Continues, Act 1, 
was released in November 2011. The album, primarily recorded in Los Angeles and New York City, saw Blige looking toward the future while acknowledging the past. From Me to You, My Life Too. Our journey together continues in this life, the singer explained. It's a gift to be able to relate and identify with my fans at all times. This album is a reflection of the times and lives of people all around me. The album featured production from Kanye West and The Underdogs, among others. The second single Mr. Wrong featuring Canadian rapper Drake was the most successful single from the album, peaking at number 10 on Billboard's R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. The rest of songs released, including lead single 25-8 achieved only moderate success, peaking within the top 40 on R&B Hip Hop Songs. The album itself debuted at number 5 on the Billboard 200 selling 156,000 copies first week. It was eventually certified gold in 2012 and has sold 763,000 in the U.S. On February 28, 2012, Blige performed Star Spangled Banner at the 2012 NBA All-Star Game. Blige appeared as guest mentor on American Idol on March 7, 2012, and performed, Why on the Results show the following night. On September 23, 2012, Blige was a performer at the iHeart Radio Music Festival at the MGM Grand Las Vegas. Blige was featured on the song Now or Never from Kendrick Lamar's album Good Kid, M.A.A.D. City, released on October 22, 2012. In early 2013, reports surfaced that Blige was recording a Christmas album. The album, titled, a Merry Christmas was released on October 15, 2013 through Matriarch and Verve Records, her first release with the latter. The album includes collaborations with Barbara Streisand, the Clark Sisters, Mark Anthony and Jesse J. In early December, A Merry Christmas became Blige's 12th top 10 album after it rose to number 10 in its 8 week. On October 23, 2013, Blige sang the national anthem before Game 1 of the 2013 World Series. 2014 present, The London Sessions and Strength of a Woman, on February 5, 2014 a remix of Disclosure's F for You featuring guest vocals from Mary was released. It was announced May 30, 2014 that Think Like a Man 2, music from and inspired by the film, released June 17 on Epic Records, would introduce new songs by Mary J. Blige, including the single Suitcase. Blige recorded a collection of music from and inspired by the film. In the United States, Think Like a Man 2 debuted at number 30 on the Billboard 200, with 8,688 copies sold in its first week, becoming the lowest sales debut of any of her studio albums. On Billboard's R&B Hip Hop chart, the soundtrack album charted at number 6, marking Blige's 16th top 10 entry on the chart, tying her with Mariah Carey for the second most top 10s by a female artist. June 2, 2014 saw Blige pairing up with another English musician with the release of a reworked version of Sam Smith's Stay With Me. A live visual to the song was released on the same day. Following her concert date at the Essence Festival, on July 9, 2014 it was announced Blige would move to London to experiment with a new sound for her new album. Blige spent a month in London recording her album in Rack Studios with a host of young British acts, including Disclosure, Naughty Boy, Emily Sand and Sam Smith. Ten new songs, co-written and recorded by the singer, was released on November 24, 2014 on an album entitled, The London Sessions. That same month, she announced that she left Geffen and Interscope and signed with Capitol Records. In August 2016, Blige was recruited to perform the new theme song for the ABC daytime talk show The View for its 20th season titled World's Gone Crazy written by Diane Warren. A music video was also shot for the new theme song. Blige also appeared on The View alongside Maxwell during its premiere week on September 9, 2016 to discuss their joint tour and theme song. On September 30, 2016 Blige premiered a new show The 411 on Apple Music. For its debut episode, Blige interviewed Hillary Clinton. A trailer was released online with Blige singing a cover of Bruce Springsteen's American Skin to a bewildered Clinton. The exchange received mixed and negative reaction from social media. Two weeks later, a studio version, this time featuring a verse from American rapper Kendrick Lamar was released online. 
Following her highly publicized divorce from Ken Du Issex, Blige released two songs within October, Thick of It and You Plus Me, Love Lesson. On April 28, 2017, her 13th studio album, Strength of a Woman, was released. It peaked at number 3 on the Billboard 200, number 2 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart and toppled the R&B Albums chart. Acting career, in 1998, Blige made her acting debut on the sitcom The Jamie Foxx Show playing a character, the apparently Southern OMA, a preacher's daughter who wanted to sing more than gospel music. Your license has expired, or you do not have a valid license verification file. Please contact our sales support team for more information. Her father was portrayed by Ronald Eiley of the Eiley Brothers. In 2001, Blige starred opposite rapper Q-Tip in the independent film Prison Song. That same year, Blige made a cameo on the Lifetime Network series, Strong Medicine, playing the role of Simone Fellows. Blige's character was the lead singer of a band who was sick, but would not seek treatment. In 2000, Blige was featured in a superhero web cartoon in junction with Stan Lee. Blige used the cartoon as part of her performance while on her 2000 Mary Show tour. In 2004, Blige starred in an off-Broadway play, The Exonerated. The play chronicled the experiences of death row inmates. Blige portrayed Sonny Jacobs, a woman who spent 20 years in prison for a crime she did not commit. In late 2005, it was reported that Blige landed the starring role in the upcoming MTV Films biopic on American singer-pianist and civil rights activist, Nina Simone. By spring of 2010, Blige was slated to star as Simone with British actor David Oyelowo portraying her manager Clifton Henderson. Blige later dropped out of the role due to financial issues and the role has since been recast controversially with Dominican-American actress Zoe Saldana as Simone and Nina that was released in April 2016. In February 2007, Blige guest starred on Ghost Whisperer, in an episode called Mean Ghost, as the character Jackie Boyd, the school's cheerleader coach grieving for the death of her brother and affected by the ghost of a dead cheerleader. The episode features many of Blige's songs. In August 2007, Blige was a guest star on Entourage, in the role of herself, as a client of Ari Gold's agency. In October 2007, Blige was also a guest star on America's Next Top Model, as a creative director for a photo shoot by Matthew Rolston. In May 2009, Mary made a guest appearance on 30 Rock, as an artist recording a benefit song for a kidney. Blige also had a supporting role in Tyler Perry's movie I Can Do Bad All By Myself, which was released in September 2009. Blige starred alongside Tom Cruise, Julianne Hock, and Alec Baldwin in the film adaptation of the 1980s jukebox hit musical Rock of Ages. Blige played Justice Charlier, the owner of a Sunset Strip Gentleman's Club. Production began in May 2011 and the film was released in June 2012. Blige starred in the Lifetime movie Betty and Corette alongside Angela Bassett, Malik Yoba and Lindsay Owen Pierre. She played Dr. Betty Shabazz, the widow of Malcolm X. The film premiered in February 2013. In December 2015, she portrayed Yveline, the Wicked Witch of the West in NBC's The Wiz Live. In October 2016, Blige guest starred on ABC's How to Get Away with Murder as an old acquaintance of Annalise Keating played by American actress Viola Davis. In 2017, Blige starred in the period drama film Mudbound directed by Dee Rees. Playing Florence Jackson, the matriarch of her family, she received praise such as Variety's review, Mary J. Blige, as the mother of the Jackson family, gives a transformative performance that will elevate the acting career of the R&B star. Personal life, Blige married her manager, Martin Kendu Isaacs, on December 7, 2003 at the time, Isaacs had two children, Naz and Jordan, with his first wife, and an older daughter, Brianna, from a teenage relationship. In July 2016, Blige filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Other ventures, in 2004, Blige launched her own record label, Matriarch Records, distributed through Interscope and in mid-2012, discovered girl group Justius, making the group the first ladies of the label. Blige says these are my little Marys.
They each remind me of myself at different points in my life. Blige has been reported to be working with Justice on their debut album. In July 2010, Blige launched her first perfume, My Life, through Carol's Daughter, exclusively on HSN. The fragrance's success broke sales records in hours and has been awarded two prestigious Fifi Awards from the Fragrance Foundation The newest fragrance, My Life Blossom launched in August 2011 exclusively to HSN. In October 2010 Blige released a line of sunglasses called Melodies by MJB. The first Melodies collection featured four styles with a total of 20 color options. Each style represented a specific facet of Blige's life. Essence magazine reported that in the spring of 2011, Melodies by MJB extended their collection to offer more styles. Blige's production company, along with William Morris Endeavor is also working on several TV and film projects. Blige has had endorsement contracts with Reebok, Air Jordan, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Gap, Target, American Express, AT&T Incorporated, MAC, Apple Incorporated, Burger King and Chevrolet. 87. She has also been a spokesperson with Carol's Daughter Beauty Products and Citibank's with Nickelback Program. Blige opened her Apple Music show The 411 Inches on September 30th. Legacy, main article, list of awards and nominations received by Mary J. Blige, called the Queen of Hip-Hop Soul, Blige is credited with influencing the musical marriage of hip-hop and R&B. Ethan Brown of The New Yorker says that albums, What's the 411? In My Life, in hindsight, invented the sample-heavy sound that reinvigorated urban radio and became a blueprint for 90s hip-hop and R&B. Brown further concludes that Mary's duets with the Wu-Tang Clan's Method Man and Ghostface Killa set the trend for collaborations between rappers and R&B songbirds like Mariah Carey. Tom Horn of the Daily Telegraph comments that Blige, being a hugely influential figure in popular music, invented what is now called R&B by successfully combining female vocals with muscular hip-hop rhythm tracks. All over the world, that recipe dominates today's charts. Called one of the most explosive, coming out displays a pure singing prowess and one of the most important albums of the 90s, What's the 411? Saw Blige pioneer the movement that would later become Neo Soul, generating gripping songs that were also massive radio hits. African American scholars have noted the implications of Blige's presentation and representation of black womanhood and femininity in the typically male-dominated and centric sphere of hip-hop. Blending the vocal techniques of rapping in hip-hop with aspirational messages in R&B, Blige is credited to articulating black women's experiences in a more factual and objective manner than typical stereotypes and tropes of black women in the media. Using her personal experiences and struggles with her family as source material for her songs, Blige refutes notions of black female hypersexuality by imploring women to love and empower themselves through both autonomy and intimacy. This desire for love does more than connect to her audience members. With particular attention on her single Real Love, critics note how the song is a performative text, declaratively demanding recognition of Blige's full humanity and, more broadly, that of hip-hop generation women. Blige has received notable awards and achievements. In 2010, she was ranked 80th on VH1's list of the 100 greatest artists of all time. Blige was listed as one of the 50 most influential R&B singers by Essence. Rolling Stone magazine ranked My Life at number 279 on its list of the 500 greatest albums of all time. The album was also included on Time's list of the 100 greatest albums of all time. Alternately called the Queen of R&B for her success in the realm of R&B, Blige has amassed 10 number one albums on the R&B Hip Hop Albums chart. Blige is also the only artist to have won Grammys in the R&B, Hip Hop, Pop, and Gospel fields. Discography, Main Article, Mary J. Blige Discography, What's the 411? 1992, My Life, 1994, Share My World, 1997, Mary, 1999, No More Drama, 2001, Love and Life, 2003, The Breakthrough, 2005, Growing Pains, 2007, Stronger with Each Tear, 2009, My Life 2. The Journey Continues, Act 1, 2011, A Merry Christmas, 2013. 
The London Sessions, 2014, Strength of a Woman, 2017, Tours, Share My World Tour, 1997-98, The Mary Show Tour, 2000, No More Drama Tour, 2002, Love and Life Tour, 2004, The Breakthrough Experience Tour, 2006, Heart of the City Tour, 2008, Growing Pains European Tour, 2008, Love Soul Tour, 2008, Music Saved My Life Tour, 2010-11, The Liberation Tour, 2012-13, The London Sessions Tour, 2015, King and Queen of Hearts World Tour, 2016, Strength of a Woman World Tour, 2017. Award from Performance Rights Organization ASCAP in 2007. As of 2013, Blige has sold 75 million records worldwide. Billboard ranked Blige as the most successful female R&B hip-hop artist of the past 25 years. In 2017, Billboard magazine also lists her 2006 song Be Without You as the most successful R&B hip-hop song of all time as it spent an unparalleled 15 weeks atop the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart and over 75 weeks on the chart. In 2011, VH1 ranked Blige as the 80th greatest artist of all time. Moreover, she is ranked number 100 on the list of 100 greatest singers of all time by Rolling Stone magazine. In 2012, VH1 ranked Blige at number 9 in the 100 Greatest Women in Music. Blige starred in the 2009 Tyler, a jazz musician, the family subsisted on her mother's earnings as a nurse after her father left the family in the mid-1970s, the former an alcoholic and the latter a Vietnam War veteran who suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. Blige spent her early years in Richmond Hill, Georgia, where she sang in a Pentecostal church. Blige later moved to Schlabum Houses in Yonkers, New York, immediately north of New York City where she lived with her mother and older sister. Blige dropped out of high school in her junior year. Pursuing a musical career, Blige spent a short period of time in a Yonkers band named Pride with band drummer Eddie Daprell. In early 1988, she recorded an impromptu cover of Anita Baker's Caught Up in the Rapture at a recording booth in the Galleria Mall in White Plains, New York. Her mother's boyfriend at the time later played the cassette for Jeff Redd a recording artist and A&R runner for Uptown Records. Red sent it to the president and CEO of the label, Andre Harrell. Harrell met with Blige and in 1989 she was signed to the label as a backing vocalist for artists such as Father MC, becoming the company's youngest and first female artist. 1992-96, What's the 411? In My Life, After Being Signed to Uptown Records, Blige began working with record producer Puff Daddy he became the executive producer and produced a majority of the album. The title, What's the 411? Derived from Blige's past occupation as a 4-1-1 operator. It was also an indication by Blige of being the real deal. What's the 411 inches nevertheless established Blige as a dynamic storyteller whose performances of The Truth About Singer Mary J. Blige, Mary Jane Blige, born January 11, 1971, is an American singer, songwriter, rapper, model, record producer and actress. Starting her career as a backing singer on Uptown Records in 1989, Blige released her first album, What's the 411, in 1992. She has released 13 studio albums, eight of which have been certified multi-platinum. Blige is known as the Queen of Hip Hop Soul, and has won nine Grammy Awards from her 31 nominations. My Life is among Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest Albums of All Time, and Time's All Time 100 Albums. She received a Legends Award at the World Music Awards in 2006, and the voice of music Perry Box Office hit I Can Do Bad All By Myself and appeared in the film Rock of Ages, 2012. She received a Golden Globe Award nomination for her musical contribution to the film The Help. In 2017, 
she starred in the period drama film Mudbound, directed by D. Rees. In partnership with the Home Shopping Network, HSN, and Carol's daughter, Blige released her My Life perfume. The perfume broke HSN records by selling 65,000 bottles during its premiere. The Sen went on to win two Fifi Awards, including the Fragrance Sales Breakthrough Award, Life and Career, 1971-91, Early Life and Career Beginnings. Blige was born on January 11, 1971, in the Bronx, New York. She is the second of four children born to mother Cora, a nurse, and second to father Thomas Blige, 